PeteTools.com. Hi guys, Pete here again. Hey, today I want to talk about my old 2000 watt heat gun. Is it any good and what can we actually burn up with it? Have a look at the video, see what you think. If you like my channel, remember to subscribe, guys. Hey guys, this is my old dumb Makita. It's a two speed. Five setting temperature control on it. I don't know if you can see that, guys. It's got five settings there anyway. It ranges from about 400, 400 um, degrees to about 1200 degrees. Um, it's not too bad actually. I brought a couple of the cheaper ones, the single speed and the only uh, single temperature ones, but I find that they're quite limiting on what you can do with the things. Um, this thing here is what it is and how much it costs is, is really, um, it's a good versatile gun to have and they last forever as well. This one's just a Makita brand. Uh, as you can see, it's been around my workshop for years and years, and it's still going. So uh, I thoroughly recommend it. But you can use it, do use them for anything from heat shrinking your on wires or whatever you want to do. Yeah, what have we got here? You get a bit of a heat shrink there, and we'll put it on here. And if you attack this at full, at full tit, it's um, going to just burn up your, your heat shrink. So I've got this one set on two. I don't know if you can see that there. It's set on two on the uh, heat setting. And we'll clip it on the first, the first um, speed, and we'll see if we can shrink it up. As you can see, that's um, not doing a lot, and it's pretty damn slow. So we'll click it up a speed. See, it's shrinking it now, quite nicely. That's on setting 2 on the heat, and it's on setting 2 on the speed. As you can see, that's pulling that up quite nicely. Look at that, that's pretty cool, eh? And that's, um, that's um, on setting 2 on the heat. A lot the, I think a lot of them now come out with digital thing. I don't think they're, they're that much more expensive with the digital readout. And, um, yeah, but it, it still hasn't pulled it on really tight. See that? It's still quite, quite loose. So what I'll do is I'll turn it from 2 up to 3. Now we'll go up to 3 like that. And then we'll put it on speed 2 and we'll see if we can shrink it up any more. You can see that's pulling that up now, nice and tight. You can see it's actually pulling the shape of the of the tool I've got it running over without actually burning the the heat shrink. See that? And that now is on there nice and tight and you can see it's got the shape of the tool underneath it now. Which is quite cool. Whereas if you don't have the um, if you don't have the speed control and temperature control, you just you have to hold it back and forth, and, and sometimes you just don't have enough heat to do what you want to do. Anyway, so that's uh, that's one of these. And we'll go to something a bit bigger. You might need a bit more heat to melt this one. It's a bigger diameter heat shrink, so we'll put it on this rod. Oh, actually, we'll put it on the on the drill bit here and see if we can shrink it to the same shape as the drill, eh? So we'll start on the same setting and see if we can do it with the same setting. So that's set on temperature 3. So that's, that's about mid-range of the temperature on the second fan speed. So we'll see how this one goes, guys. See how that's pulling that into the shape of the drill. Pretty cool, eh? Well, I think it is. Sorry, I'm getting that a bit out of focus for you guys. That's pretty cool. So I wonder if I can get that up anymore by just giving it a bit more heat. So if we go to, we might go to four. We'll go to three and a half. Go to about three and a half on the heat setting, and we'll see if we can do it without burning it up. Oh, 
I'll put some links down below if you want some of this heat shrimp stuff. And um, you want to buy one of these heat guns. The heat guns are only about 30 bucks, and I think they've got digital radar on them these days. Um, I would go for a variable speed one. You just get far more use out of it. See how that's pulling that in really good now? It's really looking nice. Look at that, and that ain't going to come off there. So if you, that was your wire, shit, that's hot. If that was your wire, the, um, oh, that's got that really hot, and it hasn't melted it. See, you got the control over your, over your temperature. It's pretty cool, I think it is, anyway. Um, like, you can get a single-speed gun. I think you can get a single for about 18 bucks. It's based 30 bucks, and you can get one with a digital readout and the multi-speeds and the 2,000-watt one, which is pretty awesome, actually, 2,000-watt one. So let's have a look here. We've got our, our roll of solder. And then we'll see what we can do with it. This is the same speed. Can you see that, guys? Takes a while to melt that there. Here we go. Starting to do now. So if I turn that up now to five, and then I try and hold it about the same distance, or we'll weld some more solder out, and I try and hold it about the same distance, thought I had it before, see the difference. Look at it, it's just blowing the thing to pieces, see that? It's hot on your hands, man. Woo! So that's at full, um, full whack. All right, now we'll try and do it at full whack, taking some paint off. An old tin. See, we've got an old tin here. We'll try and take some paint off. I don't know if you can do it. You can't see it like that. So we'll have to do it like this. And uh, what are we going to use to scrape it off with? What have I got here? And then uh, I've got a knife. So, here we go. I hope you guys can see this. I'll put the thing at the back of it so it doesn't roll away. See that? 2000 watt. You can see the reflection of the heat. And the thing, it's actually, it's really powerful. See, that's ideal for cleaning off paint off your house or, or whatever. It gets really, really hot, guys. Whereas the other ones don't. And this gives you all the options. And this used to have a, um, used to have nozzles on it that would direct the heat a certain way to cut, to trim off your paint and when you're doing your paint on your house and other bits and pieces but I've lost them but you can still buy the kits I'll put a link down below to, to the ones with the nozzles and that but try and get at least 1800 2000 watt if I turn it up the other way without flying the camera you might be able to see how hot it is I don't want to flick it right up because it'll cook the camera but you can see that see that guys see how hot that is pretty awesome and just don't touch it with your beard hands because it Ooh. and it fries my knife as well and uh, what else we've got oh I'll try it with a piece of um, PVC plastic here we go guys PVC plastic we'll see if we can melt the end of it eh That ain't going to take much, very much to do that, look at that. Pretty cool, without me really guessing myself. Woo -wee. Woo. So it's got some snot, the uh, the 2000 watt one. It's going good, right, so what, what else have we got? What else can we see? Ow, that was hot. What else can we see that we can... Uh, yeah, and we'll see what happens if we put it on the towel. Put it on the towel.
I leave that on there for much longer with the thing's <coughs> I think it's going to just set itself on fire. Woo. So when you're using this, just watch if you're going around your car or something, you don't set your upholstery on fire or something like that. Oh, I'll throw that outside before I set my workshop on fire, I think. Yeah, so anyway, guys, this is my thoughts on the old heat gun. <laughs> Remember, if you like my channel, subscribe, and um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Eh? I'll drop some links down below if you want some of that heat shrink stuff or, or buy one of these cool guns. And we'll see you next time. Thank you, guys. Peach tools dot com dot com dot com